New at four here in Rhode Island, retired Judge Frank Caprio is renowned for his TV show Caught in Providence, as well as his compassion to those who appeared in front of him. That's right. CBS News contributor David Begno caught up with Caprio to talk about his battle with cancer and to reunite him with a man he says he'll never forget. Now, we're talking about your father, right? Now, you're going to say guilty or not guilty? What do you say? Guilty. Guilty. <laughs> Judge Frank Caprio is beloved, not for his sense of humor, but for his mercy. His TV show, Caught in Providence, well, you get all these tickets. highlighting his day-to-day -day life reviewing traffic cases and misdemeanors in Rhode Island, Your case is bothering me. became syndicated around the country in 2018. Say, Mommy, not guilty. Not guilty. Yay. And thanks to the help of social media, it turned this 87-year-old into a renowned figure internationally. This is my wonderful husband. Oh. I got the ticket. He was driving my car. Oh. I'm not guilty. Oh. He is. <laughs> you go through this every day? Yes, Your Honor. <laughs> We've been happily married for 43 years, right? Yes, dear. <laughs> But what has captivated Judge Caprio's millions of fans over the past year is his ongoing battle with pancreatic cancer, which he completed treatment for just a few weeks ago. Why did you want to go public with it? Well, I really thought I could be an inspiration to other people if I survived. You are an inspiration, as you are surviving. So far, so good. The kindness and the compassion that Judge Caprio has shown in his courtroom is finding its way back to him in the form of letters and gifts. There are thousands of them. You are an inspiration to all. You've touched more lives than you can imagine with your heart of gold. Those heartfelt messages have also been pouring in from some of the judge's more famous fans. I am sending you a boatload of prayer and also, I'm a fan girl. It's been a pleasure to get to know you just through social media, and I'm so glad you're with us. You are a treasure. Together, we visited the courtroom, which is now named for him. Judge Caprio called this home for 38 years before he retired in 2023. I've watched so many of your videos. Tell me about one or two of those that you will always remember. I remember Victor Cobella, and he was 96 when he came in. He was charged with speeding. You were taking your son to the doctor's office? Yeah. I take him for blood work mm -hmm. every two weeks because he's got cancer. How old is your son? 63. And you still, daddy's still taking care of him, right? Yeah. <laughs> I only drive when I have to. Yeah. I wish the best for your son and I wish you good health, and your case is dismissed. Of good all the cases for the judge to recall, we were so happy that he mentioned Victor, because... I have a surprise for you. Victor is here. Come on. Victor! Oh, my God. The best friend I ever had. God bless you. I hope you live to be my age and over. Over? Yeah. And, and do everything and help everybody. There's not a better man on earth than you. You help everybody. God bless you. Thanks, Victor. Thanks, pal.